Here at 4.30, an update. An eight-year-old girl and her grandmother remain hospitalized with critical injuries after a crash in South St. Louis County. It happened back on August 14th at the Telegraph Road and Old Post Road intersection. First responders tell us they're alive today because of a unique program, and they're not the only ones. I'm extremely lucky because I was coding. So, it, you know, they got onto it quick, and I think it saved my life, really. That's Harry. The South St. Louis County man was bleeding out at home seconds away from death. His wife, Bobby, called 911, but they didn't know the responding fire district was the only one in the area that could save his life. Only on four, I witnessed his reunion with the first responders who saved his life. It's been said that time is precious. Harry and Bobby Bush could not agree more. You see, back in February, it looked like their time together had run out. Well, I got out of the shower and noticed blood on the step out towel and I looked down and was squirting out the side of my leg. Harry had a ruptured varicose vein. When he didn't come out of the bathroom, his wife Bobby checked on him and found him pressed against the shower door gasping for air. The bathroom looked like a crime scene. He had lost a lot of blood. Bobby called 911 and this is where luck, divine intervention or serendipity plays a role in why Harry is alive. Bobby's call for help was answered by Melville Fire Protection District, the only department in St. Louis County that has a pre-hospital blood transfusion program. When paramedics arrived, they pulled Harry out of the bathroom and started giving him blood in the front yard, getting time on their side. You have a very specific window of time that you operate in to deliver these patients and give them the best chance that they'll that they can have that's chief brian Hendricks. he leads a fire district that answers 18,000 calls a year most are for ems that's a lot for a department that covers parts of several municipalities he says melville started its program february 1st just days before the call to save harry's life came in we will do everything right there in your living room whether it's in the living room or whether it's on the side of the highway or it's in the grocery store we will not leave the melville fire protection district is only one of three in the state with this program frederick trice runs the ems field training for the department this is our cooler which we store our blood product in storing one unit of red blood cells and one unit of plasma. Trice has 35 years with the department and says this is one of the biggest game changers in response to crisis. Why don't more fire departments have this? I can't answer that question. I can tell you that we have a very progressive program here. Back in their South St. Louis home, Harry and Bobby insist if it wasn't for this fire department and that blood transfusion before taking Harry to the hospital, he would be dead. They have given me a, a new life because I've been a widow before. It's not fun. And they saved his life. Harry and Bobby now have the gift of more time together. But what they really want is to say thank you to the men who saved Harry's life. But they didn't know how to do that. So I put in the call to Melville Fire to see if they'd respond a second time. About six months after Crew A saved Harry's life, the team rolled back up to the front door. How are you? I'm feeling much better now. You look good. You look good. <laughs> Once inside, reintroductions with the men giving Harry and Bobby more time together. You saved he's his a, life. He's a white shirt. But you called him and you're my new No, best we all did the job, so right? This is a group effort. Seeing Harry is a reminder of why they do what they do. It's satisfying to know that um, our training can pay off. Perfect. Harry and Bobby have even more reasons to be thankful. The couple get to meet their first great-grandchild this fall. The Melville Fire District is expanding its program, by the way, going from just one vehicle to three vehicles equipped with coolers. And that fire district can use your help keeping its blood supply. It hosts drives every six months. We have details on the next drive inside the story on your First Alert 4 news app. Meanwhile, here at